Radio man amateurs designing various radio electronic devices constantly deal with electricity. Casual handling with electricity may entail deplorable consequences. If you strictly follow some simple safety rules, you will avoid such consequences. The voltage up to 36 volts is safe for human beings. It goes without saying that it requires normal conditions, i.e. a dry room and a dry and clean skin. A cell-powered and battery-powered equipment operates at this maximum voltage. You should be especially careful when working with equipment powered by the alternating current mains. Current flowing through the human body depends on the skin resistance. If skin and cloth are wet, the resistance decreases and current, in its turn, increases. If a human is exposed to high voltage, electric current flows from one hand to the other or from the hand to a leg. To avoid the first current path, do not touch power elements with both your hands and do not touch heating or water supply pipeline. To avoid the second current path, use an insulating rubber mat. Do not forget to ground a soldering tip to ensure safety should the soldering bit be damaged or phase voltage occur. Replace elements of an adjusted device when power is off. Discharge high voltage capacitors, if any. When you use an instrument connected probe, for instance, with an elevated clip to require a point where power is off, measure required parameters with a second probe after switching on the device. Avoid using a probe with a considerably large, non-insulated part. Radio electronic equipment is often powered from mains through a step-down transformer. In this case, dangerous voltage occur on the least of the transformer's primary coil, on off switch and a fuse carrier. Assemble these devices with great care and insulate all the connections with a PVC tube, heat shrink tubing or insulating tape. If a device is powered with a non transform power supply unit, all the elements are direct coupled with the mains. It is better to design the power scheme using an isolation transformer, the primary and secondary coils of which can stand the mains voltage. Ensure careful insulation of the circuit board and any other elements. Use packages made of insulation materials. You should also use adjuster and control handles made of insulated materials. These are basic electrical equipment safety rules and every radio amateur must strictly follow them.